There was a show recently of embroidery at a museum in New York called the Museum of Arts and Design, which recently changed its name from the uh, American Craft Museum. And that made me think of uh, two schools that I went to that both had the word crafts in their names and recently dropped it, which was the California College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland and the London Central School of Arts and Crafts. And I, um, I was thinking about um, Laura Owens, who had a work in the embroidery show and also who did prints with us. When she did this print, it's based on an embroidery, an old um, embroidery from early America. And the, you can see that she used the acid, she painted with the acid and put in as many of the stitches as she could. It almost looks like this bird is wearing a, a sweater. So. Um, she de built this up and very, it's very well crafted by, by her own hand. And the work that was in the embroidery show is a work that she did at the fabric workshop in Pennsylvania. And here's a reproduction of it. It's very big. It's, it's uh, four feet across. You can imagine how it must be absolutely breathtaking as an embroidery. But the um, work was actually, the embroidery part of it was done by skilled craftsmen to Laura's design. She's very, very happy with it. I uh, sent Laura an email and asked her what she thought about uh, arts and crafts. And she wrote back this comment. Um, In general, I try not to distinguish between the different parts of the museum and try to look at it all as part of one history. It helps me when I'm trying to feel inspired and make something myself. The other day on television, I heard a commentator say that Barack Obama is in the lead of what he called a post-black generation. And by that, he said that he meant that uh, many young voters who are supporting him, and he himself actually, uh, don't really see being black as anything particularly remarkable. It's just there, it's just a given. And so I was thinking that uh, Laura Owens maybe is part of a post-crafts generation in the art world where the craft is important, it's just a given, it's not uh, dismissed, it's not unimportant, but it's, uh, it's given. And uh, she can use her own hands if she wants to, as she did with the print, to get the level of craft that she needed or for embroidery, she used someone's hands that were more skilled. And that's all uh, perfectly acceptable and, and um, not remarkable in the art world these days. So I can kind of see why the museum and the schools dropped the word crafts, not because they didn't uh, think it was useful that those were, that craft of something is important. And I think actually the next step might be for museums, and this is already starting to happen, that they would uh, start to do what Laura asked, was to make it, um, make it more obvious that all the work in their collection is part of one history by mixing that work and showing prints and drawings and crafts in with other works in their exhibitions.